While injuries hindered Debo Samuel's production in his first two seasons in the league, the third-year wide receiver transformed himself from a gimmicky speed threat into a superstar with an entire offense revolving around him. Along the way, offensive guru Kyle Shanahan experimented with unique pre-snap alignments and methods of getting Samuel the ball, all in the name of maximizing Samuel's talent. This continuous evolution of the 49ers offense created immense success for Debo Samuel, totaling 1,405 receiving yards, which translated to 33% of the passing offense, and 1,770 all-purpose yards, which accounted for 27.7% of the entire 49ers offense ultimately pushing the bounds of what it means to be a wide receiver and revolutionizing the entire position in the process. Even though Samuel ended the year with a pivotal role in the run game, he began the year as a wide receiver exclusively. In week one against the Lions, Samuel displays elite spatial awareness on this fade route against the defense's single high safety look. Understanding that the safety is occupied with guarding the middle of the field, Samuel stems his route towards the sideline in order to further isolate himself with the boundary corner. Once Garoppolo recognizes this development, Samuel flashes great awareness and presence of mind by slowing down to track the ball and tucking his hands away until the most opportune moment catching the ball with the original corner, getting his ankles broken, and with just the safety to beat. Despite his 4.48 40-yard dash, Samuel possesses breakaway speed and vision on his lackadaisical race to the end zone, showcasing underutilized upside in rushing base skills. Recognizing this untapped potential, Shanahan waited a couple of weeks before unveiling this play against the Seahawks in week four. This play is designed to motion Samuel directly behind his blockers for a bubble screen, hoping that Kittle, Sanu, and Juszczyk can hold their blocks long enough for Samuel to slice his way into the end zone. Unfortunately, an inaccurate throw paired with timid blocking stifles the play. At this point, with Samuel's feet wrapped up and two players immediately converging on him, you'd think the play was over. Instead, Samuel maintains his balance, lowers his shoulder, and shrinks his body as he trucks through not only DJ Reed, but also Bobby Wagner and Jordan Brooks, both of whom are 25 pounds heavier than him, and then somehow finds his way into the end zone. Samuel's ability to not only navigate through open field, but also power through physicality is a perfect combination that unlocks forms of usage the wide receiver position has rarely seen before. With those two plays serving as precursors to the usage Samuel received in the second half of the season, it is worth noting that Samuel carried the ball just six times the whole season before carrying the rock five times in week 10 alone. Samuel went on to rush the ball five or more times in every game afterwards. When watching Samuel run the ball in a running back role, you begin to realize how naturally gifted he is at finding holes, efficiently maneuvering through them, and using his build to his advantage. For instance, on this traditional split inside zone run, Samuel feels Leonard Floyd block off his option to kick this rush outside and opts to enter the open A-gap. Once he reaches the second level of the defense, he is aware that his compromised position prevents him from creating space in the open field, so he lowers his shoulder and propels himself over the cornerback for the first down. It is nearly impossible to predict that a wide receiver could be able to embody this textbook running style therefore proving how flawless this scheme is executed by Shanahan and, more importantly, Debo Samuel. From that game on, Shanahan provided Samuel with more opportunities to flourish by channeling his previously untouched talents into his new innovative role. With the 49ers pulling two linemen across the formation, Samuel aligns himself with Garoppolo to receive the handoff while directly facing and running towards the sideline. Once his lead blocker engages with a defender, Samuel delays his cut to force the corner to take outside leverage, 
then bursts through the crowd. During this frenzy where Samuel rapidly accelerates and defenders attempt to shed their blockers, Samuel's speed prevents many defenders from even touching him, while his strength, shown by his many casual stiff arms, nullifies the impact of those that do. What does end up affecting him though is a last minute powerful shove by a Jaguars defender, but Samuel's remarkable body control permits him to gather his balance and stretch the ball into the end zone to clinch a touchdown on this elite rushing attempt. With these exact skills in mind, Shanahan slightly modified the mesh point between Garoppolo and Samuel in this next example. Instead of Samuel dashing across Garoppolo in front of him, they sweep him behind Garoppolo to allow for him to artificially create more open field. This strategy lets Samuel hit the edge of the field without even being touched, but just when Samuel thinks he is running home free, he discovers the pulling guard blocking a defender in a peculiar spot of the field that limits his path ahead. Just like the last play, his ball carrier vision provides him enough awareness to evaluate the defender's leverage, and with an extremely precise and nuanced cut, he finds a crease right up the sideline and blazes ahead at full speed while tightroping the sideline and avoiding a convoy of defenders. All that in mind, it is extremely evident that Samuel is a natural ball carrier given his unbelievable combination of quickness and strength, as well as his unmatched spatial awareness, all of which isolate him as one of the most athletic and intelligent players in the league, regardless of the position or role he is playing on a given play. That being said, Samuel garnered genuine respect from defenses regarding his rushing abilities, even as a player listed as a wide receiver. Noticing this trend, Shanahan drew up one final wrinkle in the last week of the season that exposed the amount of attention defenses devoted to Samuel as a rusher by the end of the year. From a similar formation and mesh point as the last rushing play, Garoppolo hands the ball off to Samuel who slowly scampers ahead, clutching the ball in preparation for a throw rather than a rush. He stretches out the play and allows the pass rush to converge on him before uncorking a dime into the end zone. Upon second glance, notice the panicky dedication to contain Samuel on this play by the Rams defensive group. As soon as Samuel gains possession of the ball, two linebackers drop into their run fits followed by the safety and corner neglecting their zones in favor of closing off running lanes up the sideline. This extensive commitment to shutting down Samuel, who at this stage of the season was finally recognized as a legitimate rushing threat, allowed the 49ers to counterpunch the defense with this forward-thinking play design, exposing the indisputable numbers advantage behind incorporating a versatile player into multiple phases of an offense. Samuel's historic season strongly implies an inevitable shift in the thought process within offenses in the NFL. After Samuel's production as an elite running and receiving threat, coaches understand the schematic nightmare and will attempt to replicate it with their own diversely talented players next season, a trend we have already seen take shape at the tail end of the 2021 season. While there are countless examples of other offensive coaches attempting to use players in multiple positions over the last decade, Debo Samuel is without a doubt the most efficient player in history in this role. Nonetheless, it is important to recognize Samuel as the trailblazer for this new prototype of receiver, a receiver that can line up anywhere on the field and truly serve as a dynamic weapon every single play of every single week out of every single pre-snap alignment. When it's all said and done, there is the potential that we reflect on this development as the turning point for what it truly means to be a true game changer. And the league, its coaches, and its fans have Debo Samuel and Kyle Shanahan to thank for revolutionizing football in such a remarkable way.